What's up, my mouse shrub? It is a Tesla mouse here. You're Christian Charlotte Beatles. We are in the International Competitive Battling Association, the ICBA. This is another draft league I'm a part of. God help me, I am in a lot of draft leagues. This is actually my sixth or seventh draft league I'm currently a part of, and I am super, super excited. We recently had the draft, and this is my full blown draft recap. Now, before I go in, I want to say one thing. There were a lot of uh, interesting mods that were not banned in this draft league, such as Darkrai, Deoxys Speed, Deoxys Defense, uh, Hoopa Unbound, Feramosa, Tepalele, a lot of stuff that was not banned. Even both non-torrent Greninjas, Protean and Balbon, were legal here. Now, I was drawn for number one to pick in the draft league, so I got first pick, obviously, which means I could have anything I want, literally anything I wanted. I could pick something from the S tier, like Hoopa Unbound, pick Darkrai, could pick Kieran Black, could pick anything. But, under advisement, this is my first draft pick, and it is of the S tier. My first draft pick is as follows. Greninja. But the question is, which Greninja did I select? Did I select Balbon? Did I select Protean? Or, did I select Torrent, which is tier 3? The answer is not Torrent, and it is not Balbot. It is Protean Greninja, and here's why. Protean Greninja, because that's built in stab with its ability, Protean has no switch ins pretty much. And you gets a lot of good type coverage moves, such as Extra Sensory, deal with Fine Types, Dome Shot to deal with Fairy Types, Ice Beam to deal with Grass Types, Grass Hot to deal with Bulky Water Types. It gets a lot of good stuff, and with the stab, it gains a boost to its moves. Also, you can run it as a special attacker, a physical attacker, or a mixed attacker. Grinja, while it may be frail, has outrageous speed, decent offensive stats, and has a good offensive type right off the bat in water and dark. Now, Protein Grinja is really powerful. It was banned in Smogon OU back in Oras, when it will be Alpha Sapphire. It's currently legal in Sun and Moon, but maybe not for long. Grinja is really strong. I'm very happy to have it as my number one draft pick. It can also set up Toxic Spikes and Regular Spikes, it gets Priority of Water Shark, which is now a special attack. It gets Shadow Snake for Priority, it gets Ice Punch, it gets a lot of good things. So Greninja is definitely top tier, and I feel it was like the best draft pick I had this entire draft. But, being, as, being that we were number one in the drafts to pick, we had to wait a long time for our second draft pick. And I had two things in mind. Ladius which is actually, I believe, picked way before my second choice was to be made. And my actual pick that I decide on, because Latios was taken, and that would be none other than Latios. Now, Latios is a Dragon Psychic type with the ability Levitate, which makes it immune to ground type moves. It has all sorts of good coverage moves, such as Surf, Ice Beam, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, gets access to Earthquake even, gets D-Dance too, not bad physical attack stat for it, very high special attack stat, good speed stat, decent bulk all around, and a great offensive typing. Now, Lyos is also a defogger, it can run, it can use defog, and that is one of the main reasons why I picked it. I wanted a defogger and I wanted something for a Dragon Fairy Steelcore that I was working on. Lyos fit the bill in that choice, and I might have run with Lyos if they did not get picked, but now that I think about it, I used Latios in Season 2 of the NPA, and I want to try Latios out for myself instead, so I'm overall glad that Latios was picked instead of Latios before me. So Latios is our number 2 draft pick. Our number 3 draft pick is Excadrill. Now, I picked this to prevent Sand Stream, uh, Sand's Rush Sweep, because someone picked a Tyranitar prior to this, and I wanted to make sure that did not happen to me. Now, Extra Drill also is a benefit to my team because it is a rapid spinner, gets access to Stealth Rocks, has some decent coverage moves such as um, Rock Slide, x Shadow Claw, like a Swords Dance that so can set up with it, has really high attack, decent bulk, and some decent speed, and two great abilities in Sand Rush and Bull Breaker. Bull Breaker can hit those pesky Rotoms, the Rotom Heats, if you can levitate, and Sand Rush, you can use the opponent's sand against them, make your speed twice as fast. Excadrill is a really good mod. It's also the second part to a Dragon Fairy Steel Core that I wanted to get going. Now, I didn't really pick this Steel-type 
I didn't premeditate picking this um, steel type, but it just worked out in the end. So Exodrill is my number three draft pick. Of course, I was on the wheel, so I got Lyos and then Exodrill immediately. So I had to wait a long, another long time to pick my next draft pick, but to run out my Fairy Dragon Steel Core, I decided to go with a Fairy type. And the Fairy type that I chose is Sylveon. Sylveon is a really good Fairy type. It's a good cleric, especially bulky. It's access to stuff like a Hyper Voice, which basically, because the Pixel Light makes it into a Fairy type with an additional boost. It's access to Heal Bell, Wish, Baton Pass, Calm Mind. It's access to a Shadow Ball and Psy Shock as coverage moves. It has decent special attack, not that high speed actually, base 60 speed. But with its special bulk, speed isn't really that big of a deterrent. So that is all around a good mod, and it actually does cover Exodrill's fighting weakness, as well as Lyos's bug and dragon weakness. So I'm very proud to have Sylveon as my number four draft pick. And because we were on the wheel again, I had another pick coming up, and my pick is going to be none other than Gavanchula. Now, what a really fast electric type, and not only does Gavanchula fit that role, but it can also set up sticky webs too if I really need it. When you have sticky webs out and you have a really powerful sweeper, it's pretty much GG. It also gets some good coverage moves such as uh, Energy Ball and Poison Drop. I guess if you want to run like a random mix Gavanchula and cover some other uh, mon that your opponent's roster may have. We won't be seeing Poison Jug that much, I don't feel, so don't have to worry about that. But Energy Ball and Giga Drain, really good grass type moves to have on. It has not that great special attack, to be honest, but it has Compound Eyes, which makes Thunder almost very accurate. And Thunder coming off of this Gal is going to be is gonna hurt a lot. It also gets access to Volt Switch, gets access to Priority Sucker Punch. If you want to run that for some reason, I don't know why you would. But Galancha is overall a solid choice. And I am very happy to have it on my team. I'm going to say that about the majority of my draft picks from here on out. But our Gonchla, our number five draft pick. Our number six draft pick is none other than Hitmontop. Now, I want a fighting type. I want some good priority like Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Muck Punch. Um, I also want another Rapid Spinner or Defogger. And Hitmontop had to be a very good Rapid Spinner. It gets access to two great abilities in Technician and Intimidate. Has decent bulk, um, has good type coverage of Earthquake and Pursuit, I believe. Hitmontop is just an all around solid mod. It may be a little bit slow, but as another rapid spinner, you can run it in a multitude of sets. You can run like a Choice Band Hitmontop. You can run like the Assault Vest one. You can run a bulky Intimidate Lefties. There's a lot you can do with Hitmontop. I've actually never drafted Hitmontop before in my entire experience as a draft league battler. And I figured I'd give this thing a try. So welcome aboard Hitmontop to my draft for the Charlotte B-Drills. Our next draft pick was Zorok. Now this is something I've wanted to draft in a few other draft leagues but never got around to due to not having the proper um, build in my roster for it. I either had too many special attackers at the time or I didn't really, or it was already picked, but I was able to nab this thing. Zorok is a really good mod. It's a dark type, pure dark type. It's a lot of coverage moves such as Focus Blast, Sludge Bomb, Grass Knot, Flamethrower. It's access to Dark Pulse as a stab. It's Sucker Punch for priority. It's Knock Off even. It's Sword Dance or Sword Dance a Nasty Plot. And U Turn, pardon me, that phone is really annoying. I'm going to be right back when the uh, phone stops ringing. I apologize for that. I don't know why we have that phone here still. We never use it. We have cell phones. Who needs a house phone? But, anyways. Back to what I was saying, Zorg also gets an ability called Illusion. What Illusion does is it disguises itself as the mod in the back of your party. So let's say you have Zorg as your, as your mod that's out in the field right now, and you have like a Cobalion, you know, sitting as the last slot. Zorg will appear as Cobalion. Now there's a few things to know about this. You want to be careful when using Zorg, and the reason why is because if you disguise it as a mod that would have an ability to show up when it's sent out, such as... Uh, you know, lenders see if it's intimidate or sweeping over its pressure, and you send out something that looks like a sweeper or lenders see, and its ability does not appear. That's a dead giveaway. That is definitely Zorok, because unfortunately Zork does not, you know, try to copy what the other mods would do when they're sent out. And Zork also gets U-turn for pivoting. It gets um, trick too if you want to run like a choice set. Zork is just an all-around solid mod. Has good special attack, decent physical attack, and good speed. Also gets extra sensory, by the way. So Zork is our is our next draft pick. 
which I am very happy to be using. Now, the draft pick after this one is Rotom Mo. I believe I would have picked like Raichu or something if it wasn't already picked, but I figured Rotom Mo was the next best thing. I mean, I already picked Vickable in two of my draft leagues, so I figured I'd go with something else. Plus, Rotom Mo is actually going to add to my Firewater Grass Core. Yes, I was also working on a Firewater Grass Core. Uh, this is the first of it. We're not, we're not really going to count Greninja as part of it because, first of all, we're not going to switch Greninja into attacks, really. And Greninja can be whatever type it wants, basically. And Romo is a pretty good Grass Electric type. It's access to will o -Wisp, Toxic, Thunder Wave. You know, any of that has um, status setting. It's Ping Split. can be a Choice Switch. can be a Choice Scarf. gets a really powerful Grass type attack and Leaf Storm, which is, I believe, more accurate than Hydro Pump. Might be just as accurate. But I think it's more accurate than Hydro Pump. Uh, Voltage Thunderbolt, as I mentioned before, Signal Beam even, Shadow Ball, Hex, Dark Pulse, lots of stuff you can do with this mod. It has decent bulk because, again, it is a Rotom form, and Rotom forms do generally have bulk. The thing is, though, it has a fair bit of weaknesses, four weaknesses, Fire, Ice, Poison, and Bug. It has some good resistances. It resists Electric, resists Grass, resists Water, resists, well, it's neutral against Flying. It's immune to ground because of Levitate. But overall, Romo is a solid pick for the draft for my team. It is a grass head with my Firewater Grass score. So, welcome aboard, Rotom, to the Charlotte Beedrill's roster. After Romo, I decided to draft this little number. Vaporeon, yes! Now we're running up our Firewater Grass score perfectly. And while we did have Granger, I also want a bulky water type. Now, Vaporeon can act as a cleric when I don't want Sylveon to be a cleric. Vaporeon is a water type mon with access to Scald, Ice Beam, Signal Beam, Shadow Ball, um, Wish, Iron Defense, well, not, not really Iron Defense, but Acid Armor pretty much, uh, Baton Pass, I believe, gets Toxic, gets Heal Bell even. It's pretty bulky on the physically defensive side, if I remember correctly. And it is one hell of a mon to have on my side. I really want to draft a, bul a bulky water type because I've seen bulky waters go in the draft and I regretted it. So, Vaporeon is my draft pick of this round. After Vaporeon was selected, we picked this Typhlosion to finish our Firewater Grass Core. And I bring something back from Season 2 of the NPA. Typhlosion, while it doesn't have the best special move pool, it is a really powerful mod eruption. It is a fire type that's two abilities, Blaze and Flash Fire. And based on Flash Fire, it can switch into any fire type attack and wants to get, boost its fire, its fire type moves. It gets access to some decent physical attacks such as Earthquake, Wild Charge, Fire Punch, and I believe Rock Slide could be wrong on that one. Maybe even Super Power. Um, Typhlosion has base 100 speed. It makes for a decent Scarfer. And there's not much really else to say about it. Typhlosion did put in some work in the NPA for me. And I'm very happy to have it back on my roster. And our final draft pick for the ICBA is another bulky water type in Quagsire. Now, I trust this, and I know I have three water types, and I might be crazy for it, but I want to bring Quagsire along because it's another ground type. It's another electric community. It only has one weakness, and that's grass, unless you're running like Freeze Dry, in which case we hit super effectively by that. It's access to Skull, the Waterfall, Ice Punch, Ice Beam, Earthquake, Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb. It, it's toxic against... It gets Curse. It's a, it's a very stalling mod. It has two great abilities in Water Absorb and Unaware. Unaware basically makes it so it ignores opponent's mod's stat changes. So, no Belly Drop Sweep, no Swords Dance Sweep. Really good bulk on this mod. It's, and Water Grass is a pretty good defensive type, I'm not going to lie. It resists Fire, resists Rock, resists... Well, it doesn't resist Ice, I was going to say. Immune to Electric. It's pretty solid all around. It also resists poison. So Quasar is our number, t our number um, eleven draft pick, I believe it is. I believe we had eleven draft picks. All right, number ten draft pick, right? No, it's number eleven. Pardon me, I was looking at the uh, spreadsheet or the yeah the Google Docs. Can't remember if we had ten or eleven picks. I have lost count. But anyways, that is my draft recap. We have Quagsire. We have Typhlosion. We have Vaporeon, Rotom Cut, or Rotom Mo. We have Zorak. We have Hip on Top, Gavunchula, Sylveon, 
Excadrill, Latios, and Greninja. And the Z-Move rule here is, you got three Z-Move captains. I picked the following as my Z-Move captains. I picked Greninja, I picked Latios, and I picked Zorok. And Zorok with a Z-Crest is going to be very threatening because you don't know what to expect. I mean, I can disguise it as a Latios and they expect Latios to be a Z-Move user. And then they can switch in their, like, uh, Sylveon and take a uh, Z Sludge Bomb or switch into their, um, their Dark type. Expect a Psychic and take like, a Z Focus Blast or something. So there's lots of creative things I could do with, um, Zorog, Greninja, and Latios as my Z Move users. Also, Greninja gets protein, or my Greninja does it anyway, so it gets stabbed from whatever Z Move it uses. It is going to be really exciting use these mods in the draft format and I'm very happy about how my draft came out and there are a few things that I would like to draft and draft but overall I'm very satisfied with it so guys if you enjoyed this ICBA draft recap please feel free to leave a like comment and Thunderbolt subscribe button and don't forget to check out all the other coaches and their YouTubes as I will put them in the description so guys thank you for watching and remember guys keep riding the Thunder Waves to victory Kate thanks bye